Hey there, sheepdoggers, and welcome to Let's Torture Sheepdog, Dream Daddy. Uh, one of my Patreons decided that uh, they'd get me this game so I could do it for a Let's Torture Sheepdog. I've never seen anything about it. Um, I, I, I haven't seen any footage really. The only thing I vaguely know about it is that there's... I think it's uh, dads dating dads. Is is that is that what's going on? I think. So let's let's start. Dad tip twenty seven: Don't eat too close to your bedtime. Snoring. Dad. Dad, wake up. Wake up. Pretend to be dead. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. You said that five minutes ago. And also ten minutes ago. I finally opened my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room. Spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Ready? Yikes, Dad. Go brush your teeth. Yeah. Anyone who tells you that a drink isn't manly has never known heartache. Exercise regularly and... Okay, that looks fairly like me. Uh, I'm super white. Uh, what kind of head do I have? Nah, that's a bit manly. Yeah, okay. Shadow? Oh, no, I have a beard. Wait, you're only allowed a shadow? You're not... Okay. Uh, I have fairly short hair. Uh, probably more like that. And yeah, it's kind of that brown. Apparently I'm making myself. Um. Oh god, no. <laughs> okay. Wait, why am I, why are my eyebrows? Can I not change my eyebrow colour? No, no, okay. Noses. I've got kind of a big nose. That's not really like hooky like that though. Yeah, it's, it's probably more. That's nah, yeah. I'd say it's probably more like that. Okay. Mouth. He. Okay. Uh oh, there we go. Eyebrows. Uh, I got big ass bushy eyebrows. Not quite that bushy, but uh, uh those maybe. Wow. Ah, here's facial hair. Uh, currently, I'd probably go with that. Yeah, okay. Not exactly, because I do have a full-on beard as well. But, uh, it's probably the closest to the, to the moustache. I'm gonna shave as well. Uh, I don't wear glasses. Uh, I don't have any piercings. Clothing, clothing, clothing. Uh, no. Is that a Danny Sexbang costume? Yeah, that that's the Danny Sexbang costume. Hey, okay. Maple Bay. I guess there's a few references. It's made by this is this game is made by the Game Grumps, I believe. Uh, and. Uh, I guess there's going to be references in, in here. I, w I watch Game Grumps on occasion, so I might get some. I need the Danny, Se Danny Sexbang outfit. I tend to be fairly casual. Are there any, like... Yeah, something... Uh... Something like that, maybe. They all have exactly the same trousers. I guess, except for this dude. I guess apparently the game grumps, you know, they're only interested in shirts. The the trousers trousers are like meh, whatever. I'll go with this. Name that dad. Shio. Sheep dog. Be that dad. Be that dad. It's rude to ask people about their mysterious hand tattoos. I don't understand that. Pet every dog. Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. 
Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait. Straggler. Hmm. That look in his face is fucking creepy as hell. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and a little photo album. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. The only way your father and I... The only way your mother and I... I guess mother? The only way your mother and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. You know what's nice about doing this for a torture sheepdog? I don't have to put up with the befuddling and confusing translation problems. Nice. Halloween, when you were maybe four. <laughs> oh god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon. So you went with both, princess dragon. Mm. Why do I remember crying in that dragon act costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Mm. That is the creepiest character I think I've ever made. He looks like a serial rapist. <clears throat> right, yep, definitely repress that memory. And this was you and your horse phase. How is that a horse phase? She's clearly a cow cowgirl. Oh no. Dad! I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Oh. I don't think that was his... Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your scar band. Ouch, kid. The Scamunist Manifesto had, chan had a chance back in the day. I look off into the distance and remember about that rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. No, Dad. That's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Aww. That's racist. What, because they look the same? Jesus, Dad. Dad, Emma R's been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort or something, yo. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who... tried to steal people's pets, fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station... Pooped her pants during a Pooped her pants. Aww. Dad, that was me. I did that. You pooped your pants. Oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. And I was having a sleepover with Emma R, who isn't Emma P. She never told anyone, though. True Blue, that Emma R. How old are you? And why the fuck would you use True Blue? <laughs> anyway, I've got to show Emma R this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. She's a photographist. What, can she also turn back time and change time and stuff like that? <laughs> yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFriday's. Yeah. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy Tod's Tod's Tada Blasters. I think you mean food poisoning, you know? With a Z. God, Sheep, you're the creepiest person in existence. Oh. And it actually looks a little bit like me. It's really... <laughs> It's really creeping me out. Dad! Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. Cock. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Uh. I finally decide to break the silence. This was the day you were born. It's kind of a funny story. We got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender, but of course I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. And I didn't know what to do. But your mother, oh man. She holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes. The calmest I've ever seen her, she says. It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Aww. She was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss her. 
I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. She pats me on the back. Can you stop making weird noise, pleasers? Come on, Pops. we got to finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. <laughs> I should have made him super buff. Because that, like, 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 make him look like one of those, uh, you know, typical workout dudes. Except with the big moustache and, yeah. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. It's the smile with the eyes. Oh, God. And then the, the slightly differently coloured moustache. So many memories here. Hard to believe your mother and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Like your dad. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. Alright! All right. Hey, remember when I broke the back window? Look, we get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Wh who's this we? It's just... It's just me. Huh. And there'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. Huh. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little to leave it behind. Okay, let's fuck off. Let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> the moving van begins to pull away, and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rearview mirror. So, so what? So sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in the beautiful scenic downtown Mabel Bay, our new house features... Multiple places to sleep. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. Yeah. What a deal. I mean, if sleep weren't for the... I hate that fucking phrase, and I now hate you, Amanda. You sleep more than anyone I know. Mm. I admit my faults, Pops. Keep it real. I keep it real. I hate her. I despise her. She's the... Oh, gosh. Okay, let me just say this right now. Sleep is not for the weak. Sleep is for people who are tired. I am tired a lot of the time. And I don't sleep very much. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Oh, Amanda. Good spin. What the fuck kind of t chatter is this? This is... Uh, I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to? So I don't have to waste gas? And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know... Amanda, you know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? How old is she? She looks about 12. She's not allowed to drive. Aww. Not going to happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Okay. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbours yet? Not yet, but the neighbourhood seems pretty Aww. quiet. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. She's a teenager? She looks like 11 or 12. In, I'm in my last year of high school? How old is that? Is that 17, 18? She's not 17, 18. Fuck off, she's not 17, 18. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real bitch. <laughs> Don't you dare. Senior. Aww. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. <laughs> ah! No. Aww. No. I'm just going to ignore that. But I won't forget it. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery mm. shopping. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. And you know what? That's a good that's a good place to ch to end the first episode. Um, these uh, Let's Torture Sheepdog videos are going to be about 15 minutes long. So, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I honestly don't know what to expect from this game. Um, so, I'm just going to play it and try not to let you guys enjoy it too much. 
Um, already it's it's hurt me in a couple of different ways, so I guess we'll see how it goes. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you didn't enjoy the video, I hope it's terrible and no one watches it and I don't have to do too much of this. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, always helps out a lot and of course I do really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. So this is Creepy Sheepy signing off.